Okay guys, so this is the video here we're talking about, right? That we have a very scary um, picture over here about PHP under attack. This is a warning to anyone using PHP. That is, to me, very significant. That's very shocking. And then over here, let's open up this thing. And over here, right, it's talking about an 8 slash 10 vulnerability, vulnerability uh, found in GLBC that could compromise, uh, lead to the compromise of PHP around the world. Whoa, <laughs> PHP around the world, guys. This is how scary this stuff is, right? And it goes into ma major detail about all the uh discovered by the government and all that kind of stuff that this vulnerability is so i mean this is it, look i'm not never putting cold water about cyber security right and it's always good to be informed but i think we need to have a little bit of uh, sanity down here and not uh basically uh you know cry wolf every time there's an issue and what's important is let's go and look at what the php foundation is talking about this vulnerability and what they're actually going to do about it okay so i've jumped on to the php website right and we are now covering this glibc icon v vulnerability that's right over here you can see it over on the top let's zoom in there See if you guys can see that a little bit better here. And I'll read it out to you, right, on what this vulnerability is and uh, basically what it is and what does it affect. So recently, there's this bug here on the GLBC um, version 2.39. So this is a, a language conversion function. And it basically takes one language and tries to convert it into another language for the ISO uh, CN extension. So I understand it's probably for Chinese, right? And it uncovered a buffer overflow. So when a buffer overflow means that it processes certain variables that overflows the, the buffer. And this can lead to exposing code or overriding uh, adjoining adjacent blocks, right? And then compromise your code. Okay, so basically what is happening is, let's say, you know, you have a character in there, like, you know, 15, and you change it to Chinese, it takes too much stuff and causes a buffer overflow. And it can create a remote code execution. Okay, so this is exploitable through PHP, but the function itself, it is not PHP that's causing the problem. It is the icon V extension itself. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to talk about that it's not PHP's vulnerability, it's PHP calling this function that does this, okay? And then the second thing is that it's in the context of the engine. So that means while you're using it, the bug is not, nothing to do with PHP, is when PHP calls this special library, okay? It's not directly uh, exploitable uh, remotely. This is this line over here, okay? What, what exactly does that mean? That is not directly exploitable remotely. That means that if you're sitting as a hacker, you cannot go inside and put that function and, and then exploit it. That function needs to be in the, the system already and then you sort of uh, have some user input that creates this problem. Okay, now let me tell you, first and foremost, I've been using PHP for so many years, I have never used this conversion. The probability of you converting a language on the fly to Chinese is extremely low. Okay, and one more thing is exploitable if and only if the PHP calls the function and the filters with the user supplied information. So that means that you put that function into your application, number one. Number two, you allow the user to put an input to a form into that, okay? That is the two criteria that is needed 
So this is very, very, very remote. Number one, you have to put that function out there. Number two, you actually have to have some sort of input in there. So what does this look like? It's probably something, you know, maybe you're doing some sort of um, language translation system. That's very, very, very um, remote. Okay, so what does this con consider? What does PHP Foundation think about this? Number one, let's zoom in there. I hope you can read this. Number one, the security update from distributions have been installed. Okay, so you can go in and install it. Number two, if you don't have the icon V extension, you don't have this problem. And a lot of us don't even know whether we have that icon V extension. The third thing is the characters have been uh, removed from the gmorph uh, extra config. So if you know what to do, you just remove it. That's an insurer. All the application passes only specific allowed sets. And this is the biggest one. This is probably the biggest uh, component because when you're always suff um, dealing with a user supplied information, right? You're probably going to um, you're going to sanitize it, you're going to validate that information, you're going to check that. I mean, that's the first case scenario of every single new um, uh, framework in PHP. They always validate the inputs. We heard about this, SQL injection, code injection. There's always a validation of what the user can input in there. So not only are you having a very specific function, but you're not doing any validation at all. Okay. So here we go. They're talking about it. Numerous reports online with ty titles like PHP under attack. These are misleading and it's not a bug with PHP. It's a very small subset, very small user case, very rare. Okay, it has to do with the Linux system of it. So that's not really fair. If it's called by another language, this bug could occur as well. Okay, so the other thing is if it's not patched with this, there's no fix for this issue, but you don't have to worry about it because there's a workaround. You can just validate that information. It's fine. And what um, they're saying is that P this does not occur on PHP on Windows. So any Windows server, no buffer overflow. And finally, what are they recommending for it? There's no new version of PHP to fix this vulnerability. Why? Because it's so rare. It's so, not only do you need to have that icon V thing set up, but you have no sanitation on that. And so easy to work and fix this around. It's a very small subset, hardly, hardly, hardly even counting as an eight out of 10. That's what PHP Foundation is talking about. I agree because in my history of using this kind of stuff, I have never used that function, never. And very, I don't think I've ever converted anything to Chinese for PHP. You know, we use a different kind of uh, API to handle that kind of stuff. So I am 100% with the PHP Foundation about this. I think that it's very misleading over here. You can see this word here, very misleading on there that uh, characterize PHP as this dangerous language. It's not, it's not a big issue down here. There's no need to panic. And I think this is disingenuous by anybody creating this kind of worry on PHP because it's not an issue and the foundations addressed it. I think my opinion is that it's not a serious issue and it's easily mitigated and you should not be occurring with this, especially if you sanitize your inputs. So guys, I hope this has given you some insights to this vulnerability and not get too worried about this kind of stuff. It's not PHP. What's important is that we continue to address these issues and deal with them as they come up because PHP is not going anywhere. And that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.